Dear brothers and sisters, in our catechesis on medieval Christian culture, we now turn to the distinguished Franciscan theologian, Blessed John Danscotus, a native of Scotland. He taught at the universities of Oxford, Cambridge, and Paris. Danscotus is best known today for his contribution to the development of Christian thought in three areas. First, he held that the incarnation was not directly the result of Adam's sin, but a part of God's original plan of creation in which every creature in, in and through Christ is called to be perfected in grace and to glorify God forever. In this great Christocentric vision, the incarnate word appears as the center of history and the cosmos. Secondly, Scotus argued that our lady's preservation from original sin was a privilege granted in view of her son's redemptive passion and death this theory was to prove decisive for the eventual definition of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. And finally, Dan Scotus paid great attention to the issue of human freedom. Also, by situating in it principle in the will, he showed the seeds of a trend in later theology that risked detaching freedom from its necessary relation to truth. May the teaching and example of Blessed John Dan Scotus help us to understand that we attain happiness, freedom, and perfection by opening ourselves to God's gracious self-revelation in Christ Jesus. I offer warm welcome to the members of the general chapter of the Congregation of Holy Cross, together with my prayerful good wishes for the spiritual fruitfulness of your deliberations. Upon all the English-speaking visitors presented to this audience, especially groups from Wales, Ireland, the Philippines, Canada and the United States of America and your God's abundant blessings. <laughs> 